it's Mike from Party 4 Crafts back again. Today I'm going to be testing whether the X-Tool S1 40 watt laser engraver can engrave stainless steel or not. I have a history of testing different lasers to see if they can engrave stainless steel and I always use the butter knives that we have at home because it's a nice big flat stainless steel surface. So that was from a previous one. I'm going to flip it over and use the other side. All right, let me get all set up and we'll see how this goes. Okay, in order to get it flat, I had to put some things under one end of it. It's a little thicker at this end than it is at that end. So I've got it flat and now I'm going to figure out how to get it to set the thickness of the knife and then we'll start engraving. This here is the device that it uses to measure the thickness of things. It comes down and touches the tip of that to the object, and then it comes over to the side and touches a little platform that it knows the height of, and then the difference between those two heights is the thickness of the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it with that right there in the middle of the knife, and as long as the knife doesn't wobble or anything, we should be good to go. So to tell it where I want it to do the measuring, I move it until the red crosshairs is right in the middle of the knife and that's where it will come over and touch. All right, so now I am clicking auto measure. And there it goes doing its thing. And it's back. Now it automatically filled in for me a distance of 0.557 inches. Ready to go. All right, I have it so the word is set up centered around the red crosshairs. I'll set up the settings and frame it and then get started. All right, the X-Tool settings website says we should be doing a power of 60, a speed of 240, 200, but I'm gonna go 240. One pass, and that should be good. All right, let's try to frame it. It's a little off down on that end where the knife is curved, so I'm going to move it over some. That's all there is to it. I'll frame it again now. Move it over again. And I might make it a little smaller. I don't think it's going to fit in the space where I have it. All right, going to frame it one more time. Click framing. Press the button. Alright, I have the settings on 65, 200, 200 lines per centimeter. Process. Start. Close the door. <laughs> This again, start, and hit that button. Yeah, it's more like it. Okay, this is real time speed right now. I'm going to it from the side, and I can start to see the words already showing up. If you can see it too. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it. 54 seconds to attempt to carve on stainless steel with the 40 watt hand on the X2 S1 diode laser cutter. Let's see if it did it. So there it is. The X Tool S1 can, in fact, 
don't know if I can get it focused, but it can, in fact, engrave on stainless steel. And this is the regular 40 watt. It's called the blue laser head. It's not the it's not the infrared head, the, the 2 watt. But there it is. So there you go. In answer to the question whether or not the X-Tool S1 40 watt laser engraver can engrave directly on stainless steel with no Surmark, no Enduramark, no mustard, or any of the other things that you've seen used to engrave on stainless steel, the answer is yes, it can. And it came out very good, very even, very dark. We could adjust the settings to get a different effect if we wanted to. In the comments, if there's something else you'd like to know if the X-Tool S1 can do or not, put a comment below. All right, thanks, and see you next time. Thank you.